This guide shows you a quick and easy way of finding files or programs that may be missing on your Windows 10 computer. Now, you might have lost a shortcut off your desktop to a program or uh, might have lost a file on your computer. If it's still there, this is an easy way to find it. All we do is we move our mouse over the Start button and then left click once. The Start menu appears. Now start to type the name of the file or the program that you're missing. So for instance, say if I was missing WordPad off the computer. So I start to type WordPad and after a couple of seconds, it appears under Best Match WordPad Desktop App. To load it, just left click on the program and up pops WordPad. Now, if I'd lost a file, we do the same thing. We move our mouse over the start button, left click once, and say if I was looking for um, a file called Christmas card list, I just start typing Christmas card. And as I'm typing, it's actually appeared under best match. So again, to load it, I just left click on Christmas card list. And there we go, up comes my Christmas card list. So just to re-emphasize, anything you want to try and find on your computer, left click on the start button and start typing its name. So this time I'm gonna try and find the program Paint. So start typing Paint and up it comes under the best match. So I left click on it and then Paint loads up. And again, if I'm looking for a say a file called Reports, I left click on the start button and start typing on the keyboard report and up it comes here. I left click on it and it opens up the file report. So that's an easy way of finding files or programs that may be missing on your computer. Please note though, when you're typing the name of the file or the program, it may not always come up that quick. It may take some time for the computer to find it. So please be patient. And uh, if it can't find it, then unfortunately, either the program's become uninstalled or the file isn't there. If the program has become uninstalled, then you'll need to reinstall it either by inserting the disk if it was originally installed from a disk or re-downloading it from the internet if it was downloaded from the internet. In the case of a file being missing, then you'd need to restore it from your backup. You have taken a backup, haven't you, right? Anyway, hope this guide has been helpful for you. Thanks for watching.